Gold Coot here coming back at you with another exciting house lane video. As promised, I pulled the protective cover off the chimney I'm calling it. I don't know what this thing is called. I haven't quite installed it, installed it fully yet because I still need to paint back there and get all that fixed and underneath and all that good stuff. But if you saw the video prior to this one, basically I wanted to show everybody the internal workings of how this thing works. And in there is the actual motor that sucks the, the air up. And also there's the installation where my installer, my appliance guy, used the correct tape. That is metal duct tape. So it's not regular, quote unquote, regular duct tape. He used a metal type tape, which I believe now is current code in the state of California, all that good stuff. But anyways, you get the idea. There it is. It's all fully in there and you can see how everything is. To put this back on to its correct position, it's basically you slide this back over and then it just literally drops into place. Uh, and I'm in there and I'm in. Okay, so there you go. So I'm in. There is going to be a little bit of a gap up there because it once you get it into place, it drops down about a quarter of an inch and there's really no other way to get rid of that gap up there unless you want to like cut a hole out, <laughs> go up and then down. I, whatever you want to do with your own personal installation is up to you. But this is how we did it. What I may end up doing is getting a piece of wood, like some kind of maybe crown molding, right? There we go, there goes my piece of wood, but kind of very similar to like some kind of crown molding to kind of go around there. The only problem is, is that once you do that, you're basically sealed in there. And if you ever had to do any kind of service work, you would have to pull the crown molding down and then lift the panel up and then back out again if you wanted to ever do that. But anyways, you get the idea. But once all this is kind of painted and everything, then I'll go ahead and peel off this protective liner and the liner that's on that and peel that off as well just to make sure it all comes out and all the good stuff. But I do need to paint here some high gloss, high temperature paint so that the oil just basically doesn't cling onto the wall. You get the idea. And then in here as well, I'm probably gonna put some tiles. Anyways, my phone is ringing. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I will catch you on the next exciting video.